Hello there, this is Snipers227 here with my first tutorial in my um, OpenGL engine series. Basically in this uh, series we are going to create an engine using OpenGL132 so we will not be using wrappers like FreeGLUT or GLUT. Um, I would like to warn you all first that this is my first time creating a fully functional engine. I have made several attempts and I believe the more I teach people so well the more I the more tutorials I make the more I'll understand because I'll be teaching you therefore I'll be under I'll be teaching myself sort of so if you don't see a video out in a while or a couple of months go by and there's no video it's probably because I am researching the topic for a next video and trying to figure out how to get whatever it is done so yep but for the most part I'll have a good five or six tutorials done real quick um, because I have made several attempts and restarted because I just like uh, finding ways to make uh, code more efficient so first thing we're gonna do is create a new project or click on new project under 132, type in the name, so just gonna name it Snipers 27 Engine. Mm. Oh. Okay, I'll name it Engine Framework. Hit OK. Next, under Application Type, make sure Windows Application is selected and check empty project hit finish and we'll just wait for this project to get created and um, sorry if there is a bit of a lag I just recently switched to Windows 8 and I find it is a lot slower than Windows 7 so yeah there we go so Visual Studio set our project up over here as you can see solution and their project uh, solution is basically like we'll call it a grand project and then this right here would be a sub project so we just add a Win32 project to the solution we could also add a console project or another Win32 project etc and then we have three folders header, file, source files and resource we'll probably be using these two the most and these would contain the .h files and these would contain .cpp files so first thing we're going to do is we're going to have to create the actual window before we can initialize OpenGL so first thing you want to do is make a file called new or sorry uh, make a header file and by to do that uh, click I believe your files folder add new item dot h name it will I'll name this L or S or let's see S said core engine so where a lot of the variables will be where a lot of basically the core of the engine so every mostly every other header file is going to be linked to this and in the source files make a file called core engine which will be .cp, a .cpp file and now that we have those two we need to set some stuff up for a project so after you've uh, this is where glue is going to come in handy after you have downloaded it you should have it extracted to your C uh, drive or wherever you want but just go to project properties, configuration properties, and then uh, VC++ plus plus, uh, directories. Under include, we're going to find the include folder in glue, which would be, um, where is, I'm trying to find computer, right there. Go glue, include gl, select, 
and under library we're going to find the lib folder for glue which is right here select <coughs> ok hit apply and under linker go to output and we're just going to add a couple of things first thing is going to be opengl32.lib semicolon glu32.lib semicolon and glue32.lib semicolon and hit apply now go to general under uh, configuration properties and change the character set to multi-byte character set this will uh, when this will uh, help with the compiler because if you use Unicode um, and you type in a string just as a string under an LPSTR um, uh, parameter or something uh, if you, you, it will give you an error if you do not put text so we could just just change it I'll explain it later it's hard to explain one uh, thing I'm trying to explain is not in front of me so and the last thing I want you to do is under C++ runtime library change it to MTD this just makes it so that um, when you actually run the exe file from your folder um, if you had an MDD it would basically uh, be only it would only work on computers with Visual Studios installed and it would give you an error if you tried running it say you need a DLL or something like that if you tried running on a computer without Visual Studio so changing to a multi MTD lets you allow uh, lets you uh, run it on um, any computer so enough chatting just hit OK save all and the first thing we're going to include now is glue dot h and sorry the first thing is we're going to include is windows dot h and we're for now we're just going to extern a variable a window handle variable and we'll call it let's see s said hnwd semicolon and another boolean called um, say running or wait yeah running So after we have those two, we need to declare them in a source file so we don't get linking errors. So, oh, sorry. First thing you want to do is go into the core uh, core engine uh, CPP file and include the dot each file. And the reason I put quotes around this and not around this is because this is a file inside the project so if you go to the project folder you could see that engine dot or s said core engine dot h is inside our uh, project folder and glue and windows dot h are outside so glue is located in the c drive as you saw when we we're um, linking it so you would put the greater than less than sign if it's outside your uh, project folder and quotes if it's inside. So after you include that, we'll just declare the variables again. So let's set hnwd. Sorry, just want to change that. It's bothering me. And hnwd and our boolean called running. We'll just set it to true. So save everything. Um, next thing we're gonna do is move on to creating the window, the actual window. So we're gonna make a class called window, and we're just gonna make a header file called said window, and a CPP file called 
this side of the window. And then this side window.h we're going to include the core.h, I mean core engine.h. And we're going to make a class called the said window. Semicolon public, we're going to have three main functions. We're going to have int win create or win class and a parameter called instance. And sorry. And the second thing function um, inside our window class is going to be called win create. We'll, again, h instance a h instance and or we're gonna have four sorry. Another one called char win name and int win width and another int called win height. And then our last function is gonna be called win and the parameter is gonna be a message. So explain things um, one sec I'm just gonna quickly search paint to explore there is <coughs> sorry there is the windows class which basically has everything which basically describes what the window is gonna look like um, some other variables but it's basically a structure that describes the window so what kind of style the window is um background color uh cursor stuff like that and then you create the actual window and when you're creating a window when you're creating the window it's actually gonna ask you one of the parameters is the windows class and you're gonna link that to the class name so you're gonna link the window to this class so the window you just described is gonna be created um, and then obviously in any program uh, you don't exit or any programming language and in any program you don't close the program and tell the user tells you to so to keep the um, program going we're gonna have a loop to keep it running tell the window or tell the user either hits escape or hits the X button so those are three main uh, parts <coughs> so I'm just gonna include Window, the Windows, I said um, Windows class or header file, and we're gonna start um, creating the function. So we're gonna do int s said window double colon win class, and then instance page instance, and we're gonna write wind class x wc. And WC dot the first actually zero memory. And it's gonna be and WC and I believe it's size of wind class X. Sorry, this is really laggy. Um, that should work. But let's just proceed. There we go. So the size is, and again, it's going to be size of. Oopsies, forgot the D. Um, skip to, let's say, Windows background. So the background is going to be an H. And we're going to use get stop up 
object and we're going to make it a gray window so lt gray brush underscore brush wc dot cursor low cursor bridge instance and IDC arrow, so just your default arrow. And now we're gonna load our icon. Again, each instance, IDI application, which is the default Windows um, application icon. And our instance is gonna, handle instance is gonna be each instance. Proc is going to be called a wind proc. It'll stay red, so don't worry. And class name is going to be called Asud. So yeah, go going back to what I said about the multi-character byte set. If I wrote that and I had Unicode, I'd get an error, and I'd have to do something like text, and then write whatever for it to be okay but since I'm using multi-byte all I have to do is this which is more logical and less work so yeah and the final thing is the style and it's going to be CS own DC CS HR draw and CS beer draw semicolon and then just make a quick error message or just quick uh, checking errors if uh, when the windows class isn't created so if it doesn't register I'm gonna just <coughs> have a message box pop up for the user and then error cannot register Windows class and uh, MB OK for the OK button and return zero. And here we're gonna do return zero also. And to get rid of that error, we're gonna go to the core dot. Sorry, uh, where's tab? Should be tab option. There. Okay, why are you lagging? There we go. We're just gonna go inside core dot uh, engine core dot cpp and make a function l result callback wind proc, which is gonna handle the Windows procedures. So um, yeah, it's basically gonna handle all the Windows procedures, which is basically the Windows messages. So like when the user, when the window is created, when the window is destroyed, um, when the window paints something, so when it starts rendering something, basic stuff like that. And if you copy that and go into core dot engine core dot h and just extend that, so we don't get any linking issues later on. should go away. There we go. And that's the Windows class done. What time is this? You know what? Actually, I'm going to wrap this video up and in the next video we are going to continue making the window because this window is at, or this uh, video is at about 20 minutes. So, Snipers227 out. If you have any questions, um, inbox me any comments um you know subscribe any comments post it um yeah see you next video